find the missing y-coordinate that would make these lines parallel to each other. Okay, so reviewing what parallel lines have in common, they have the slopes that are the same, but we make sure their y-intercepts are different. Here we've been given one line with two complete coordinate sets, two points, two ordered pairs, and a second line with one complete ordered pair and the second point is missing its y-coordinate. And what we're being asked to do is a little detective work to see what that y-value would have to be in order to force these two lines to run side by side without ever touching, to be parallel. In other words, to have the same slope. So we can start by calculating the slope of the first line by doing rise over run. And I have a y value of 4 minus a y value of 3. So that's a rise of positive 1. In the denominator, the run of my slope, I'm going to subtract the x values in the same order, starting with the second point since I did that last time. Negative 7 minus 2, subtracting those two x values. So now I have the slope that is the target for my second line since we want them to have the same slope so that they will be parallel. So here is my goal. I'm trying to get a rise that is 1 and a run that is negative 9 using these two points. So far, so I'm just going to say this is equal. So far, what I have for the rise here is I have a missing y value, which I'm just going to leave unknown as a variable. And then I'm going to subtract 1, which is the second y value. And then in the bottom, I have my x value, negative 4, minus my second x value, negative 3. And so when I do negative, negative, you know that becomes a positive. And now I have a proportion that I can solve for y. So a proportion is when you have one fraction equal to another fraction, and that means you can cross multiply to solve. So I'm going to do that now by hand. So when I cross multiply, I usually like to start with the um, one that has the variable in it and write that on the left side. So I'm going to have uh, negative 9 times y minus 1 on the left. And then to the other side, or the other diagonal, I'll have negative 1 times positive 1, which works out to just negative 1. Now I'm going to simplify all of this. So on the left, I'm going to distribute my negative 9. And just continue solving for y by doing inverse operations. So next I'm going to subtract 9 from each side. This zeroes out. And then I'm going to have negative 9y equals negative 10. Then dividing by negative 9 to make this become positive 1. I get y equals positive 10 divided by 9. So that is the answer that you will, would replace that y value with. So this, this is actually the answer we were asked for that would make our lines parallel. Now what if we had a similar question where we were asked to find two uh, the y value to make the lines perpendicular? Well, same process. We're going to find the slope of the first given line, and actually this is the same as the last one. So I'm going to just kind of bring us up to the point where we would need to change our solution. Okay, so here we have that rise of uh, 1 and that run of negative 9 again because it's the same two points. But when we get to the second part, our goal is not going to be to have the same slope anymore because perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite in sign and the slopes are reciprocals, meaning if you flip one, you get the other. So, and another way of saying that is that when you multiply them, you get a product of negative one. 
So now our goal is to have a slope that is positive. Since this one is negative, we want our perpendicular line to have a positive slope. And we want to flip this, flip the numbers. So it's going to be positive 9 over 1. Okay, that's my goal. And once again, I'm going to be writing it out equal to y minus 1 over negative 4 minus negative 3. And remember that became a plus 3. We had negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. So we have this. And once again, we are going to cross multiply to solve for y. We just had a different goal this time, right? So now we have uh, 1 times y minus 1 is equal to negative 9. Of course, when you distribute the 1, it doesn't change the left side, so we can go ahead and just rewrite this more simply as y minus 1. And then we only have to add the 1 to both sides to get rid of this and have y alone. So then we get that y is equal to negative 8. So this time the final answer is negative 8. Negative 8 is the coordinate that you would need in this point to force these two lines to cross at a 90 degree angle. Now to test this out, you can test that the product is equal to negative 1. If I take my first slope, my first line slope of negative 1 divided by 9, and multiply that times the second slope that I just found, or not the second slope, um, really I should say, uh, what is the slope? It should be positive 9, right? You get a product of negative 1. And you can always test that out by recalculating the slope over here to make sure it's coming out the way you want it. And you really should test it out. Okay, so now I'm going to calculate my, my goal was 9 over 1. And when I do change my y value to negative 8, and then I calculate my rise, I'm going to be doing negative 8 minus the y value of 1. And in the bottom, I'm going to be doing negative 4 minus negative 3. And so notice that when you divide these, a negative divided by a negative is positive, so I am getting a slope of positive 9 there.